Good morning and welcome back about 12 minutes before seven o'clock. Digital screens are everywhere in our daily lives and with them uh, can cause the concern uh, can come the concern for eye strain and joining us to talk a little bit more about that this morning uh, Dr. John Sterling a Gunderson ophthalmologist. Dr. Sterling thanks for waking up with us this morning. So if you could uh, just tell me a little bit uh, how prevalent uh, in your opinion do you see eye strain as becoming a, a concern with uh, all these digital screens? Well, I think uh, every day it becomes uh, more and more common because of so many people in their employment are on a computer, not just for a couple of hours, but I have people constantly coming and saying they're on the computer for eight plus hours per day. So it's very common and uh, very, very common with lots of unique or kind of um, vague visual symptoms uh, that kind of fall into the classification of general eye fatigue. And not only are people on screens uh, throughout their work, now we have things like tablets and cell phones where we're constantly looking at screens. Uh, how can eye strain uh, affect your overall health? Well, first off, uh, there are you know, some really common, the most obvious things that happen are dry eyes. If you watch any of your coworkers while they're on a tablet or on their computer, they don't blink. The average blink reflex is somewhere between, on, you know, between 12, 15 times per minute. But when you watch a person on a computer, a tablet, they don't blink, period, for minutes or long periods of time. And the number one issue is dry eyes and dry symptoms with using. Right, and dry using eyes can uh, lead to other sort of health issues? <clears throat> well, dry eyes actually will reduce your visual acuity. Okay. Um, because we need to have a sufficient uh, layer of tears on the surface of the eye to maintain clear, clear vision. And the second thing that that leads to is eye discomfort, actual pain in the eyes because it hurts when, it, when we blink and then we tear excessively. Um, so that's a very common problem. The second thing, as you mentioned, with the LEDs, the computer screens, the blue lighting, the fluorescent, uh, new fluorescent lighting, they actually affect, they're very high in emitting a certain uh, spectrum of light in the blue end, in the blue-violet end, which is thought to be uh, disruptive and actually can be damaging to the photoreceptors in the eye. And uh, so consequently, uh, they're working on special coatings and filters and glasses and screens to help prevent or block that end of the spectrum. So and that end of the spectrum actually affects the circadian rhythms, the sleep-wake patterns, it affects their mood, it affects their body temperature and everything. So it's, it's very critical. It's maybe perhaps very subtle, but it's very, it has a big effect on some people. So I guess best advice for now is just to switch off every now and again from these, scr from these screens. Well, that's true. I mean, a real simple rule is 20, 20, 20. Every 20 minutes, take a 20-second break and look at least 20 feet away from your screen. And if you can't, I mean, because of working in cubicles, the better thing is to get up, walk away, take a break. All right, and thank you for joining us this morning, uh, Dr. Sterling, for uh, a little bit about digital eye strain. And we'll head to break with a look at what's coming up on Good Morning America.